Hello there! As an at-home manicure addict and travel lover, I've had plenty of practice painting my nails at home and away over the years, so I'm talking you through my tips and tricks for longer-lasting nails, pre-departure prep and painting, and the travel nail kit and tools I take with me to maintain my mani. I packed this kit for two weeks overseas in December. Might seem like a big video to make for such a small pouch, but I thought it would be helpful to unpack all of my wear time tricks and travel-specific tips as well. The pouch itself was even a travel purchase in Paris years ago. Much easier to pack this than the toolbox I keep all of my nail bits and pieces in at home. I'll share how I shrunk down the steps and tools later on. I think a good travel mani starts with colour selection. To me there are two polish paths you could go down, sheer or dark. Shears are the friendliest polish because mistakes don't stand out and chips don't stand out as much either, which is great for travel, but they are harder to touch up. Sheer layers are more obvious, so touch-ups can look uneven at the tips of your nails. My personal travel preference, darker colours. Reds, burgundies, even dark green or navy. Dark red is always a winner because it goes with absolutely every outfit in your suitcase. And most importantly, darker colours are easiest to touch up. Just remove almost all of the polish on the brush, gently dab a tiny bit on any chips and when you gloss over it with top coat the nail looks as good as new. I always love long-lasting formulas but they're even handier when your hands are working hard with heavy suitcases. My three favorite long wear formulas are Olive and June, Essie Gel Couture and OPI Infinite Shine. Gel like wear time and shine but they remove like regular polish with remover. Occasionally I bend my own long-lasting rule by going for a quick dry polish on a trip because the hint is in the name, your nails dry faster. In this case I go for Essie Expressy or Olive and June's recent quick dry range. My last trip was over to winter in the US and I wanted a dark ready shade that would fit for work and play. Love the Olive and June Bricky Red Cozy Up but I ended up painting with its identical quick dry twin sister Brick. Key travel tip, pack your current nail colour for touch-ups during the trip. Every mani at home or on holiday can be improved by using base coat and top coat to prime your nails for polish and protect the colour to help it last longer. My pre-departure mani included Essie Strong Start Base Coat, the formula I've used most in the past year which has strengthener in it. I also always pack my top coat to refresh the protection and shine while I'm on the go. My absolute favourite is Olive and June's Super Glossy Top Coat for its serious shine and wear time up to about 10 days. I use it on top of any and every nail brand because it improves how every polish lasts. Sometimes I'm tempted by the speed of their quick dry top coat which is thinner so it sets in about 60 to 90 seconds. Not as glossy, high shine or long lasting though because it is thinner but it's convenient for a fast to finish. As well as using base and top coat to extend my mani, here are some other tricks I run through before I leave, but they'll lead to longer lasting polish wherever you are. First, I shorten the length of my nails. I love a longer sleek look, but that means more free edge peeking over the pads of your fingers and more chance of polish chips or nail breaks or dirt and grime getting underneath. So with clippers and small snips, I take the length back to just below the tips of my fingers, then file the snips to smooth them out. An Olive and June tip is to shape with your previous polish still on to even up the length instead of following the whites of your nails, which can be a bit uneven. A pre-trip mani is a moment of peace between packing, but it's not a soak my hands in water spa. No hand washing or hydration during the process because a dry manicure helps polish adhere to your nails and last longer. I do my nail plate prep and cuticle care once every two weeks, so pre-departure is a great time for a tidy up. I'll gently push back any cuticle build up to tidy up the base of my nails. Now my routine's a bit more complicated, I'm using professional tools, not something I'd suggest for beginners, so you can just use your opposite thumbnail to gently push back your cuticles and a buffer to very lightly buff them away. This gives you a neater canvas and more nail real estate to paint. No hand washing, so to remove dust and debris I dip back into remover. Base coat goes on next. When you're painting, thinner coats are key to extending wear time. That begins with loading up the brush with the right amount of polish. Not too thin so it's super streaky and never builds, but not too thick so it never sets properly and looks gloopy. To get the Goldilocks sweet spot, start all the way in the bottle, scrape the brush against the closest side of the neck so there's nothing underneath, but that's too much on top. So just tap the brush against the bottle neck lightly to remove that excess and that's the right amount to paint one nail. You repeat that loading pattern for each nail and it will vary a bit from person to person. I like to be on the thinner side, always 
painting two to three thin coats to strengthen a polish color rather than trying to paint fewer thick coats that won't really dry and just smudge and dent straight away. Waiting time between coats is so important too. As I said, you want your coats to be thin enough to set properly, but they also need time. Five minutes between each step is my general rule. Five minutes between each coat of color, five minutes before cleanup, I'll link my separate video on this below, and five minutes before top coat. The longest wait is after top coat. I like to sit for 20 minutes before I do anything, letting the mani marinate for safety. This isn't top coat's last appearance in my routine though. A travel and at home trick is to reapply top coat the day after I paint to lock everything in again. Then I also add a fresh layer of top coat every two to three days after that to refresh the shine and add more protection to help your polish hang in there. Now, the tools I pack to maintain my nails during a trip. Most of the adorable minis I use are from Olive and June's Manny Jet Setter Kit, taking the key tools from their Manny System box, shrinking it down into a pouch so they're easier to pack, but I like packing light and shrink it down even further, just bringing a nail file, buffer, remover, cleanup brush, and top coat. Because I start with shorter nails, I'd only pack clippers for trips longer than two weeks maybe, otherwise just a mini file and baby buffer. Polish remover is tricky to pack, so I swap to polish remover pads from Boots in the UK. They're little wipes soaked in remover. I also bring a baby cleanup brush. It's so cute. It doesn't tidy as effectively when you can't dip it into remover, but I used it on top of the Boots pads last time I went away, and it still worked. And there's little baby top coat. Finally, hydration, a key part of my post painting and nighttime routine. I like taking a cuticle and hand hydrator. Love Dior's apricot serum, which you brush on like a gel slash oil. Always do a mini massage to work it in. I also had an Aussie favorite Jerlique Rose hand cream in my bathroom bag. It's thicker and nourishing, perfect before bed. I did have Leno Lips Golden Dry Skin Salve in my bathroom bag too, as a lip balm and general skin salve, and it came in handy for extra dry skin around my nails post fresh chlorine pool days, dry desert air, and hand sanitizing in transit. Some other light, thin, travel approved cuticle tubes would be Olive and June Cuticle Serum, a super lightweight serum that sinks straight in. OPI's jelly-like gel nail and cuticle oil to go. I use their glass cuticle oil bottle on my desk, but always like a brush and tube for travel. Essie have a roll-on version of their apricot cuticle oil, so you won't get too greasy. And Chanel's Camellia Cuticle Oil is a luxury treat, melting from a gel to an oil. That's my travel nail kit recap. And to recap my tips, go for a subtle sheer polish or darker color you can touch up, choose a long lasting formula, apply base and top coat, start with shorter nails before a trip, keep your hands dry during the process, apply thinner coats of polish, give each coat about five minutes to dry and reapply top coat every few days. Very happy with this before and after. I hope this tutorial was helpful, whether you're putting together your own mani kit before a trip or learning to paint at home and want your polish to last. Let me know if there are any steps of my at-home mani process you'd like to learn more about. I'd love to hear if you have any trips coming up this year and which nail color you plan to wear. Do you stick to the classics or match your mani to your destination? Thanks for watching. See you next time.